Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are gonna talk about if I had a $1,000 to spend at Sephora, what would I purchase and what is in my cart for this that. This was a tag that was created by Emily Noel and I watched her video which is super cool and inspired me to create this one as well. If you're interested to in see what is in my wish list. <laughs> uh, keep on watching. I have 15 items that I want to talk about. I would purchase with a thousand dollars. It seems so crazy, right? But with a thousand dollars, I would only purchase 15 items. Mm -hmm. You can, you can, you guessed it. My items are crazy expensive. So one of the things that I really, really, really want and I really, really want to try and probably I'm going to try at some point in time, it's a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Moisturizer. Um, I have heard so many good things about this and um, I, it's funny because I do not have a dry skin and I'm like, I'm not like, I need the greatest moisturizer that is out there but i just i just want to experience it like these people are talking such amazing things about it and they also when you look at the product details what it is it says it's an anti-aging moisturizer anti-aging okay what hyaluronic acid to visibly plump skin and diminish the look of wrinkles leaving skin glowing and prep for flawless makeup i mean after such a description who doesn't want to purchase this like seriously who doesn't i do okay <laughs> and this one it is a hundred dollars for 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 millimeters okay so that was that one is my Number one item that I really, really want. Not a, <laughs> number two. <laughs> number two. This is an item that I don't know if I will ever get it. I don't know if I will ever have that feeling in my heart that I can pay $129 on an eyeshadow palette. I do not know. But you never know, maybe this eyeshadow palette is going to go on sale and maybe I can get it at half off. Finger crossed, although I don't think so. So this one, it is uh, Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, Metropolis eyeshadow palette. And uh, it is, like I said, $129. I love the color scheme in this. Just love it. And those are colors that I, I know for sure I would use over and over and over again. And it says it's a palette with 28 brand new shades and two new formulas of Natasha Denona's iconic professional quality pressed pigment eyeshadow in a never before seen mini size. And it's free of parabens and it's cruelty free. Absolutely gorgeous, this eyeshadow palette. Like I said, I know for sure I would love to use those uh, colors and have them all together in one um, palette. But I don't know if I can make myself purchase something that expensive. We're talking about expensive things, expensive eyeshadow palettes. Next one on my list is um, Pat McGrath. I have recorded a Pat McGrath uh, video with, I bought two of her minis and uh, I absolutely love the formula in the minis. I was impressed. Um, but not the one that I would really, really, really love to have would be one of her big palettes. Like, again, I don't know if I will ever get it, but her one of her big palettes, and if I would be to choose, I would go with Midnight Sun. This one has some really beautiful colors in there, and I just, oh my God, the swatches, they look just so phenomenal and so gorgeous, and yeah, I just... I I really, really want this palette. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, so expensive. another eyeshadow palette that I would like to get, which right now, funny enough, it is on sale, but I will not get her 
right now because I have way too many eyeshadow palettes at the time that I have to try. And this one is from Huda, Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograd Eyeshadow eyeshadow palette initially $67 now it's on sale for $40 and this one is a palette that features a cosmic blend of 18 shades and textures balancing cool and warm tones to deliver infinite uh, possibilities I would just get it because of the color scheme I believe this one is such a gorgeous um, eyeshadow palette for the summertime it has so many beautiful colors in there um that i know i'm definitely gonna use but not not gonna get it right now for sure but it is in my wish another list. eyeshadow palette that i really 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 i am really tempted to get it <laughs> this is the anastasia beverly hills norvina pro pigment palette volume one or either volume one or volume three okay because of the colors are really really pretty in there that's it for eyeshadow palettes now let's go to foundations because i have a bunch of foundations that i really really want to try and one of them is one from hourglass i want i would really love to try the hourglass vanish seamless finish liquid foundation and the description of this one, it says a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage uh, with just half a pump. Please, yes, give me that. With no primer needed. Okay, um, I really want to try this foundation and I might grab this foundation. Hopefully a sale is going to come soon because right now it's $56. And I have never paid that much on a foundation, but I might get it because, I mean, it promises so much. It says full coverage, natural finish, and the promotions of it. I mean, like, it's the magic foundation somehow. That's what they say. It's like a magic foundation. And I would love to try to see if it's not. The next one that I want to talk about is a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Longwear foundation and this one is $44 and it's a long-lasting weightless hybrid skincare foundation Charlotte's secret to a flawless flawless looking confident complexion and it says it has full coverage it has a matte finish and it's liquid I mean come on all of these people are are, are just like talking to my soul right now the vanish foundation is the same like oh full coverage yes yes and then this one is full coverage again and it also has skincare in it i'm like oh yes i really want it i want it so bad i want it so bad next foundation that i have in here is a dior foundation <laughs> this is dior air flash spray foundation this one is 62 dollars 62 dollars and this one it is an ultra fluid water resistant foundation that blends full coverage with a lightweight formula providing airbrushed protection uh, perfection for up to 12 hours well yeah full coverage again finish it's a radiant finish okay so radiant finish will look really good during the summertime <sighs> oh my god and it has four and a half stars and it has 3,822 reviews, okay? I, oh, I really want this because you can spray it on your face and it's so easy to put it on. Mm, mm. Next foundation on my list is this one from Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. And this one, it says the weightless, buildable, full coverage foundation with a natural matte finish that wears for up to 20 four hours i really really like the way it looks this foundation and i've seen it uh tested by a few of my favorite youtubers and i really enjoy the way it looked on them and i i think i might have to have it i think i might have to have it seriously next on my uh wish list it is a patrick ta major beauty headless double take cream and powder a blush and the one that i want is the she's that girl and it's a soft pink and it's 34 dollars this isn't actually a very new uh product but i really like the color on this thing like so another thing that i uh have over here it's 
another product from Hourglass, and this one is Ambient Lighting Bronzer, and this one is $52. Oh my god, but it's so pretty. And it's a radium bronze a light, and it says an illuminating bronzer with photoluminescent technology featuring bronze pigments that deliver natural looking sun kissed glow while floating depth and dimension. <sighs> yes. But the price, man, the price is just insane. $52. And another bronzer. <laughs> I heard so many things about this. I heard over and over and over talking about this bronzer. This is Tom Ford Soleil Glow Bronzer. And this one is $75 for the mini size. The mini size is $75. <sighs> $75 and it has 0 0.3 uh, fluid ounces or 8.7 grams in it. It's $75. I don't so, know. The next thing that I have in here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Electric Cake Liners and I want both of them because both of them look amazing and I really want to try them. I recently purchased Silva which I'm actually wearing it on my eye but right I do want to get the this electric cake liners and I want to check to see how they are if they're the same or they're a little bit different as well but yeah I want both of them and each is $30 and um, yeah I want both of them because I cannot decide which colors I want so I want both of them <laughs> the last thing in here it is another product from Huda Beauty, and this is the Legit Lashes Double Ended Voluminizing and Lengthening Mascara. This is $27. Really intriguing, this uh, mascara. It's a long-lasting, intense, black, dual-ended mascara with one side delivering major volume and the other delivering dramatic curl and insane, insane length. I want to see that. I mean, I want to see how it is. I don't know. I haven't watched anybody review it yet, but I really, really want to try it and see how it is, how it looks like, you know? So this one completes my wish list from uh, Sephora that is over a thousand dollars. I mean... Uh, there's some things in there that I know for sure I'm gonna get. There's some things in there I'm like, I don't know if I will ever gonna get. Um, but that is all I have. You let me know what you what do you have on your wish list and what would you purchase if you had a thousand dollars and you could buy anything you want from Sephora. Let me know down below or if you want to create this, let me know so I can come and uh, watch it as well. But that is for today. Thank you so much for watching and being here. And I will see you all next time with another video. Goodbye.